you know, everybody talks about music. They say that music is a universal language. There's phrasing, there's articulation, there's register, there's dynamic, there's timbre, there's every single ingredient that language exists in music, except we have literal connotation attached to words. And we don't to the collection of pitches that is music, right? We have emotional connotation. But when I say my shoes, I'm not talking about the sky. When I say a sandwich, I'm not talking about, you know, my trombone. But when I say something like, it's in absolute by nature, right? So to me, music with every expressive capacity of language, every single one of them, it is just by definition infinite. This record is a chronological narrative of uh, this five-year experience I went through uh, fighting vocal dystonia. A very debilitating physical issue that stops you from being able to play, essentially. And the whole mu the music just tells the story from early, early onset to kind of rock bottom to not being able to play at all and having all these physical pains all the time. And then meeting the, the woman who really um, started like the retraining therapy and pulled me out of it and it goes all the way to reconciliation and, and um, reflection. So the musicians on this record I've played with in so many different capacities and, and shared the band sing with all over with them. It's been uh, it's a very special cast of characters. Nicara Warren on the vibraphone, Alexa Barcini on vocals, Willem Dellisfort on the piano, Raviv Markowitz on bass, Itai Morchi on drums, Haley Niswanger on alto saxophone, Josh Lawrence on the trumpet, and Yuma Uesaka on bass clarinet. It was time to do this record. Everything kind of came together in a way that it was. Outside in music was very supportive in the idea of the project uh, when we were really talking in Inception, but um, this was the moment when I felt most over dystonia and that I could play and express myself naturally again and I had all the music written in a context where essentially I've, I've done all this retraining and it's always been thinking about forward momentum and forward motion you don't get a whole lot of reflection in that you're always thinking about forward you're thinking about coming out of this space so to dive back into there to excavate those feelings again it's uh, kind of heart-wrenching but it's really important and this this project became catharsis for me in ways that I didn't even imagine. This is the second time Peter's been uh, in Big Orange Sheep and we're, you know, really happy to have him back, but each, each time he's brought like some, you know, really, really fantastic music. The hard part is not to actually overtly dance while I'm playing. It's a huge conversation, a, a between dialogue between me and this person and the dance. It's, it's a lot that's going on. Peter writes some great tunes. I hope people are really listening to him and catching what he's doing. It's definitely like a, a harmonic mind. It's a lot to work through, both physically and like spiritually, emotionally. So it must feel super good to come out on the other side and be able to have this beautiful project. all of us have experienced something that we needed to heal from and it's really special that, that Peter has taken the time to craft these tunes about his experience and just lay it out there. For anyone who's ever felt lost in the struggle, felt like they're fighting themselves or fighting their, their body, their environment, anything, uh, this music is for you, this music is for the hope that even throughout the pain, even through the now that there is, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, there is a way to move on, there's a way to move forward, this is for you.